everyone's just like overcomplicating things like <laughs> it's just they just asked you like whether or not you think you're a 10 like in my opinion if a fat bitch is fat you call her fat you know or if someone's ugly you call them butt ugly you know but like if we just overcomplicated things like oh oh my worth is like you know, okay, if I'm you sorry. saw something earlier, real. you this entire video you have been talking about personality, how it doesn't have to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. no. I've been talking, talking about personality. Talk, no, 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 not, no, because now you're talking down about somebody how they're okay, fat. Okay, well, well, ugly. if a fat bitch yeah, is fat, you call her fat. Like well, personality. Well, if I say you have aside. an ugly personality, do you have an ugly personality? Well, yeah, that's your opinion, but like exactly. personally. So at the end of the day, it's been, still been an opinion. Yeah, I, I am. At the end of the day, so you're getting mad at her. I don't think that that's contradicting herself. She's talking about two different things. Can you let me finish? Can you, can, can you haven't can you let, let anyone talk? Yeah, I can talk. Really talk. If I can talk, you, you just keep. You just keep interested. going. You right. just keep going. Are, are you done? She has a neck are tattoo. You, <laughs> oh my like, god! I can wait. Like I'm one of those teachers. Like wait, I can wait. Hey, hold on, hold on. Thank you, man. Here is a better way to gauge this question: When you rate yourself, what subconscious image do you use to rate yourself? Hmm. Your Instagram photos, or hmm, you just getting out of the shower and looking at yourself in the mirror? That's an interesting question. We're stealing that question. Yes. Thank you, Bads EXE. Thank you. Really appreciate the uh, support. Speaking of the rating thing, and oh my God. Mike Davis donated. Thank you, man. Holy shit. Mike Davis's ratings for how much I pay for an out call oh with each guest. Out call. Three hundred dollars, Farah. Zero dollars, Nikki. Zero dollars, Rosie. Zero dollars, Ali. Three hundred dollars, Nev. $500 Aspen, $300 Kylie, $0 Sartain, if he returns my watch, Waller, dollar one, comma, oh, oh, comma, oh, 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 comma, oh, 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 I'm sorry, Mike Davis. I don't know what I did to Mike Davis, but damn, man. Mike Davis, what, what's uh, Thank you guys for all this. If he's using him. words like outcall, he's from Nevada. <laughs> That's hilarious, man. At least it's funny. But anyways, back to what I was saying. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm really not. I just don't like being cut off because I literally just sat here two fucking hours to listen to you talk. And I, I just can't talk. You came here to talk to everybody. I understand that, but am I cutting you off? You've been cutting Oops. people off this entire <laughs> night. Who? You. And I just have. You took up like 20 minutes vomiting, shitting out word salad. Whoa. 20 minutes straight. Wait, wait, why are you getting offended that I want to have the conversation with you? I'm not offended. Yeah, because you're, you just you're trying jump to call in me out. I'm trying to literally finish my point. I haven't even got to the period. Okay, it go was ahead. A comma. Now is your time. Go it ahead. It was literally a comma. You I literally forgot. Now. I'm so mad. Ladies, well, ladies, 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 you're both pretty. It's anyways, okay. Can, it doesn't matter can I, if I'm can pretty. I, can wait, I mean, it matters let, about how what I fucking stand for. Can, what, you, you mentioned what you, the period. Can we please not talk about menstruation? But... Um, <laughs> You, I don't know. You said something about periods. Or I something? said a kind of bad joke. Can I, can, can, can I bring some? Yeah. Can I get nerdy with us again, real quick? So beauty is not actually not subjective. Uh, there's tons of studies that show when you overlay. There's a there's a famous one where you overlay the pictures of several thousand psychology students over each other. You come up with an average, and that average is more attractive than the other people. It's rated as more attractive than the people in the classroom. Also, there's studies that show that infants, young children, look at people who are more attractive for longer periods of time. When I, you know, I've hosted over 45 different bikini competitions, and <laughs> exactly, I've hosted over 45 different bikini competitions, and in doing so, when when, when I ask the guys who's going to win, it's almost always like the same three girls. We all we generally agree. There's no study that shows that beauty. Now, to a certain extent, obviously, some people like bigger butts or bigger lips, but the type, the idea of facial symmetry and signs of youth, clear skin, things like that, those things tend to be universal. So those things are not subjective they're actually objective and that's a really offensive thing to a lot of people uh when when you you know look at victoria's secret and they show other body types and i'm all for inclusivity but they're not going to change what i find attractive or what justin finds attractive mm -hmm. or what rollo or any of the men in the chat what they find attractive because the i because when you leave that door open that beauty is subjective it really for the most part isn't like you can tell when something is beautiful because of symmetry and other things and there's just tons of studies there's tons of evidence to show this that was a beautiful point um, but I would like to talk to you again. Um, <laughs> what you said was that that there was a double standard in what she was saying. And, okay, what you said was she calls it like she sees it, and that's wrong. Because, and then you, you sorry, was it you? Or what? You, talk, you talked about how, how we just got in that argument. 
but she, you're saying that she's calling it a double standard for caring about somebody's personality when she meets somebody and then calling them ugly or fat. I just don't mm. want to fuck a fat bitch. I, I, sorry, okay. I just don't want to fuck a fat bitch, but okay, yeah, you go. I, Are you bi? I mean, are you trolling? Like, what's what's what going on? Oh, I just I don't want to go. Being okay, okay, fun, okay, like you're like, funny okay, and shit. Okay, look I'm me in the like, eye and tell me you'd fuck Thrognack the Destroyer who comes on here every once in a while. Okay, but that's not what we're saying. What I'm, we're, I'm, what I'm just I trying to get saying. a read. I'm, Yo, Ivan, thank you for that, man. I appreciate it. donated two hundred dollars. Stop focusing on dollar. If you got you, then great. These girls have no sense of tradition. False studies is what they preach and listen to other women on what a man is and wants. Set your value boundaries and get experience. A man is a leader and a woman makes it worth it. Yo, Ivan Jr., thank you for the $200 donation. Really appreciate all the support, guys. Really appreciate all the support tonight. Um, do you want to continue with okay, your okay, point yeah. about you want me to wanting that? to fuck fat bitches? Okay, okay, I just don't want to fuck fat bitches. Okay, I just don't. Like, Aren't you said you're, wait, what? Dude, I, I just don't I know you're like, like okay, joking Okay, if a fat bitch went like, up what? to me and said, hey, sexy, I'd be like, hell no. Nah. Are you bi? Dude, I don't fucking know. I, I don't know. So you like what you like, basically. I, I like what I like, but so like, if you so you like a person, any person. Okay, based okay. Off their listen, I just don't want right? to fuck a fat bitch. You don't have to overcomplicate. Okay, back to I don't want to fuck a fat back bitch. Back to what she so was she asking me. Back to what she was asking me. You were saying how I was basically saying that's contradicting, right? Yeah. Earlier, she was saying how how are you gonna date somebody? How are you gonna marry somebody and then not not know if that they're good in bed, right? And mm -hmm. she's over here saying... Well, I know they're not good in bed because they'll okay, break it. Okay, first of all, let me finish. Okay, you want people to let, me, you, let you finish. <laughs> like, Thank you. <laughs> My thing is, you're over here saying that, oh, you're over here judging, you're being biased, this and this and that, but yet you're over here saying, I wouldn't fuck somebody who's bigger than me, that, like, th that who's ugly, this and this and that. You have your own per like, perception as to who's ugly and who's <clears> big, <throat> right? Mm -hmm. So it's like for you to be like straight up and say like, oh, no, f you're ugly. Like, you're fat. But yet you're over here saying like, oh no, I'm not judging. I'm not judging that. You're, oh, you are being biased. And okay, you okay. Look, I, I'm not an saying. architect. I don't want to fuck a fat bitch. Like, can we just? I don't want to fuck a fat bitch. You don't so have you to. That's not what I'm saying. Okay, We've okay, established okay. that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you very much. We don't have to overcomplicate things. I doubt anyone. Okay, but just. I'm just. I'm just. Okay, I, I just don't so you have a type. I am not trying to complicate it. She merely asked me a question, which is why I was just trying to. Can I simplify your point a little bit? Good. Jesus. Okay. So I think the point is you shouldn't judge someone based off the act of sex, right? Sex isn't the end all be all. But biologically, we pick the mate that is best for us. You're not gonna want to mate with someone who say is obese, say is short, and mm -hmm. you want your kids, you want your offspring to be stronger, powerful, tall, in good shape, right? Yes. You will See, not... the way you are wording it is way better than what she had That's said. That's exactly. why I said Thank I was simplifying so her point. But hold on, let, let her finish, so let her finish, so go ahead. The whole objective, like her whole objective is, I'm going to have my preferences, but sex isn't what makes those preferences. It's the preferences that lead to the sex, right? They lead to your picking a partner in general. It's not just about sex. So she's not being a hypocrite. She's laying out her preferences that get you to the bed. No, but what I was saying was earlier she asked something about it being about like how you feel towards a person and not about looks. But now she's now she's talking about looks. How you feel towards a fat person or a skinny person is definitely about looks, but it is also how you feel about those looks. It doesn't change. Everything is we see something. We all see the same thing, but we all perceive it differently. So mm -hmm. it is how you feel about a thing. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Okay. That makes no sense. <laughs> so, really? Absolutely I makes no sense. No, well, because so, I mean, because we're human beings. We, we are very good at pattern recognition. When we see someone who is overweight, when we see someone who has like lost a limb, when we see someone who is in some way deformed or disabled, we look at them as, as a, not necessarily a lesser human being because of their personal value, but we do look at them and we, we say that, that that person is, uh, is not going to be able to run away from a bear, okay? We, yeah. we look at that and we, ha we have an instant instinctual understanding just by looking at that person whether or not they're going to be uh, physically fit, whether, whether I want to have sex with that person, whether I do not want to have sex with that person, whether that person is going to be somebody that I want in the trenches when I'm, when I'm fighting a war or when I, have, I need somebody to balance my, you know, balance my accounts or something like that. So there's absolutely a look that we see when we look at someone. So when people say this bullshit about like, oh, you can't judge a book by its cover. Well, the reason for a book cover is to sort of let you know what's inside the book in the first place. Yeah, no, I agree with you completely. So. I was just- Well, and then yeah, the other, the other part of that is, is sex is the glue that keeps a relationship together. So without that sex, you got no fucking relationship. 
Okay. Yeah, well, what I was going to say was that, like, I was saying that Into the mic. I don't want to judge anyone, like, based on their sexual Why performances. Not? And I wouldn't get to that point because I wouldn't go for a fat woman. So I wouldn't know what her performance was like because I wouldn't bother with that. If that makes sense. All know. right, moving on. Uh, <laughs> so also, can we okay, that, one more, one more what? Wait, wait. that question that guy said of tradition. I come from a different background. If we're talking about tradition, I, my parents were immigrants. So uh, I'm not not immigrants, but still, mm -hmm. um, I come from a completely different background. In my mm -hmm. culture, whoever is the fastest person to pay, you get to pay. Whoever you know, we eat as a family. We don't. There's no such thing as a separate dish. Everybody eats off what everybody has everybody eats. exactly but in most cultures and there's different ways and there's different thinking mm -hmm. and there's different types everybody has an opinion everybody has a thing me personally the reason why i've been in a four-month relationship is because there's a standard there and there's a boundary that i put out and if you don't succumb to that you know boundary then sorry uh, if you don't come to that you know boundary or meet it in any type of way then, then there's no reason for me to move forward mm -hmm. because I feel like a relationship is a partnership, obviously. Be it, I believe in 50-50 because of my cultural background. And What's your cultural background? I'm Chinese. I'm Chinese. And I'm so black. you think you think that the Chinese believe in 50-50? In no, egalitarian but I believe in egalitarian my parents, partnerships. my parents divorced and my dad left. And so obviously there's split custody. And there's child support, and so, if you don't so you pay that, for that child support, do you think that? Okay, I, I got that. But do you, do you think that the reason why your parents split up is because that egalitarian ideal didn't work out for the both of them? Of course, and it, that's whatever it is is between them. But as a kid, you're so caught is that in the cultural loop. Or, so is that cultural, or is that just something no, between a man and a woman? But I also watched a cultural person come from a strict, you know, uh, background. My grandparents, she she couldn't go outside. Mm -hmm. She can, she only had books, everything like that, working, everything like nine to five, everything. And so my mom got sick of it and came here to America to live out the American dream. And so obviously from that point, you have to start out from scratch. And my mom started out from scratch by herself with nobody help, with nobody to help her until she met my dad. Mm -hmm. She met my dad and my dad helped her and pushed her forward to a certain extent until their agreement and their disagreement and didn't fulfill each other, they divorced. What was, and the, agree what was the, the agreement? Loop. Their marriage. You well, know, when so you like, when you say vows, well, when you a, say okay, vows. Okay, what were the vows? I don't know. I wasn't there. So because I was too young. But in their in their terms, mm -hmm. in their eyes, they have agreed to a certain mm -hmm. certain vow and a certain agreement. And if one of them just you know doesn't fulfill, why would you someone, stay in that someone, relationship? Someone breached the contract. Yes. So why would you stay in that relationship? Not you have you no reason to. So you move on. You progress forward. And as a man. You know, as a female, and you constantly rely as a man, and then the, the father figure, the male figure of the household just disappears. What do you have left in that household, in that foundation? What do you build off of a, a male-built foundation? Nothing. So you have to start out from scratch, and you build that foundation yourself. Can, and can as you, a female- Can you just like stop karate chopping the oh, table? Oh, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> uh, as, as a female, you know, from starting from nothing- We know nothing, you're female, that's been established. My, 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 mm -hmm. my mother, starting okay. from nothing to something, she from below minimum wage to above minimum wage okay. and by herself she did that all by herself 